It all started with this sentence. The Syrian protesters are recording their own deaths. This sentence really struck me. I thought, how could the Syrians be documenting their own deaths when they are struggling for a better future? When they are revolting against death itself, both moral and physical death, when they are fighting for life itself. Are they really shooting their own deaths? The idea intrigued me. This is how I found myself on the internet, navigating from one side to another, searching for facts, evidence that could tell me more about death in Syria today. I wanted to see and I wanted to know more. Although we all know that this world, the world of the internet, is constantly changing and evolving. It's an impure and corrupt world, full of rumors and unspoken words. Nevertheless, it's still a world of temptation and seduction, of lust and deceit and of betrayal. In this world, I found a lot of material, but what struck me was a very special video. I gave it this title, Double Shooting. This video was the catalyst of this presentation. Double shooting. One person is shooting with a camera and the other is shooting with a rifle. One shoots for his life and the life of his citizens and the other shoots for his life and the life of his regime. How can we read this video? The duration of the video is 1 minute and 23 seconds. The shot is taken from one of the upper floors of the building in a residential neighborhood. It's clear that the Syrian cameraman is filming from the window or balcony of an apartment. He is standing inside the apartment, holding his mobile phone in his hand and filming what's happening outside. The film starts with the sound of a gun being shot followed by a series of images of rooftops, balconies, walls, windows, and different buildings. The unseen cameraman makes a fast-paced introduction. Suddenly, the eye spots a sniper hiding in the street, lurking behind the wall of a building in the right-hand corner. The eye loses the sniper. It tries to spot him again, it hovers left and right, up and down, nothing, nothing, nothing. And then there he is, in the street, still there, standing and holding his rifle. The image is shaking, as if the viewer's eye cannot believe what it's seeing. Suddenly, the sniper sees the eye watching him. An instant, the eyes of the two men meet, eye contact. Then, without the slightest hesitation, the sniper lifts his gun and aims at the eye. He shoots and hits his target. The eye falls to the ground, turned upwards towards the ceiling of the room. The voice of the cameraman who was hit is heard saying, I am wounded, I am wounded, I am wounded. Then, nothing. Complete silence. The image stops. Is he dead? We don't know. The eye. 